welcome you all in this our lecture series program and today we are going to talk about semantics this is our lecture 24th and uh, this content is from an introduction to linguistics uh, semester one as previously we talked about semantics uh, uh, its definitions from uh, the recommended books the authentic uh, authors of linguistics so today uh, we are going to talk about some of the areas of semantics which we always discuss in this topic and our today's areas uh, of uh, the topic are semiotics uh, what is semiotics uh, semantic features uh, within this topic we are going to discuss and semantic roles uh, lexical relations and last but not the least collocations so let's talk about one by one these all things together semantics study of meaning when we are talking about uh, these all writings of presentation uh, i have taken this uh, uh, material from atchison's linguistics by jen uh, atchison and here is a very simple definition from that book the word semantics is taken from the greek word sema meaning sign or signal literally semantics the study of meaning within sentence so this is a very literal meaning of this uh, um, uh, term semantics the study of meaning within sentence how for example there are two examples my brother is a bachelor or socrates arrived yesterday when we are talking about these sentences these are semantically correct but not my brother is a spencer our socrates arrived tomorrow semantically these sentences are wrong so this kind of a study or a decisions are been made in this topic semantics let's talk about uh, uh, semantic features when we are talking about semantic features words have actually features which are always help us in making sentences for example uh, there are words table horse boy man girl woman now uh, we are supposed to decide when we are making sentences whether the table is uh, animate minus shows that no and uh, whether table is human no whether table is female no whether table is adult no when we are talking about horse whether a uh, horse is animate yes plus shows that horse is animate horse is human no horse is female no horse is uh, uh, adult yes so these are actually the semantic features which help us in making sentences through semantic feature linguists try to determine the crucial element of feature of meaning that is carried by a noun as a subject of particular verb we can then predict which nouns for example man horse table would make the sentence semantically out for example here is a sentence uh, which uh, gives the perfect description or understanding of semantic features there is a word in an examination or uh, you are been asked to fill this sentence the dash at the food now you see for example could we put the table at all the food no this would be semantically odd we are supposed to get help from this chart for example when we are talking about table table is not animate human so human or animate uh, things or nouns always at the food or eat the food so uh, when we are talking about the dash at the food we are supposed to put here an animate thing okay uh, an animate noun okay so uh, this uh, semantics help us finding the right noun into the sentence for example there is another sentence the dash is reading the newspaper what we are supposed to put here in this um, fill in the blanks could we put here uh, the table is reading the newspaper no because uh, reading is something which is human capacity not even animate uh, are all the animals capacity so we are supposed not to put horse 
or table we are supposed to put boy or man or girl or woman we are supposed to put um, the boy is reading the newspaper we are here putting noun that is human so this is actually the study of semantic features uh, which always help us finding out the right words semantically into the sentences here we are going to discuss uh, semantic roles in the sentences. Uh, this is also taken from the study language fourth edition by George Yule. And instead of thinking words as containers of meaning, we can look at the roles they fulfill within the situation described by a sentence. Now, this is the semantic role when we are talking about, and there are so many uh, parts of the sentences, they play uh, their role. And number one, agent or subject. So this is the subjective part, which uh, uh, is uh, used uh, as an agent, the entity that performs the action, right? Technically known as agent. For example, the boy kicked the ball. Now the boy is an agent. Uh, it, is, it plays the part uh, as a subject in the sentence. There is another role um, of semantics that is theme or object. So the entity that is involved in are affected by the action on which uh, an action is uh, taking place. For example, the boy kicked the ball. Now the ball uh, is an object or this is the part on which uh, an action is uh, taking place, right? So we could say this is theme or it plays a thematic part. There uh, are other roles and uh, instrument. If an agent uses an other entity to perform an action, the other entity fills the role of an instrument. For example, the boy cut the rope with an old razor. Now an old razor, it plays the part of an instrument in this sentence, right? This is very simple. Uh, there is nothing very difficult to understand. Here is experience, sir. An entity as a person who has a feeling, perception, or state. It fills the semantic role as experiencer. If we feel, know, hear, or enjoy something, we are not really performing an action. Hence, we are not agents. We are in role of experiencer. Now you see, this is all about when we are talking about the woman feels said. Now, uh, the woman is actually experiencing and what she experiences, she experiences a sadness. Okay, so that that feelings as are not action from the subject, feelings like feel, know, hear or enjoy uh, such types of words in a sentence uh, uh, are uh, called or they play the semantic role as experience. Right? Here uh, is another uh, semantic role, that is location, where an entity is in description of an event, right? Where an action takes place. The glass is on the table. Now on the table is actually location, right? Where uh, is that glass? Source, where entity moves from is the source, right? So moves from. Rehan moves from Dubai. Now, Rehan moves from Dubai, from Dubai would have been source. Again, its opposite is goal. Where it moves to is the goal, right? Moves to. He drove from Dubai to America. Now, uh, someone is moving to America. So, to America would have been a goal. Here uh, we are going to talk about lexical relations. Not only can words be treated as containers of meaning or as fulfilling roles in, e in events, they can also have relationships with each other. In every talk, we often explain uh, the meanings of words in terms of their relationships. If we are asked the meaning of the word concede, for example, we might simply say it's same as height. You see, the other word of concede is hide. And we are using this word uh, because it is a closely uh, having relationship. Or give uh, the meaning 
uh, of shallow as the opposite uh, of deep. Now, this is an opposite meaning, uh, shallow and deep, and its relationship as uh, uh, opposite word. The meaning of pine as a kind of tree. Now, uh, pine, the other word uh, of pine is a kind of tree. So this is a synony. So uh, mostly we use words into the relationships in the sentences. The lexical relationships are uh, used into the sentences. The lexical relationships we can exemplify as synonyms, antonyms, haponymy, or haponyms, prototypes, polysemy, etc. So this is all about the uh, lexical relationships into the uh, sentences uh, semantically we are using. Here uh, we are going to talk about uh, collocations. So this is also an area in semantics we always discuss. Collocations are known as words that frequently co-occur. Our words keep company with other words. For example, golden opportunity, a fight broke out. Now we won't say that silver opportunity. There are so many words as uh, already we have talked about into this uh, uh, definition that co-occur together or keep company together. Now golden opportunity would have been uh, uh, two words we are supposed to use together. We are not supposed to use silver opportunity. A fight broke out. We are not supposed to use a fight opens are opened. Okay, we are supposed to use a fight broke out. Bread and butter, game starts. Again, needle thread, highly desirable. Husband and wife, completely useless. Fatal accident, uh, discuss calmly. So these are some of the words which uh, co-occur together are frequently used together. Or we say tell a lie, but is speak the truth. We uh, are not supposed to uh, use, or we usually not uh, use that tell a truth, right? So we are supposed to use tell a lie, speak the truth, happy about, blamed for, lead eventually, guilty of. So this uh, are such kind of a study um, is called collocations in semantics. Thanks for attention. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully this could have been very helpful for all of you. Assalamu alaikum.